my loves, or shall I say, la familia. How y'all doing today? Okay, so your girl has a plan today. I want to try to bake this new dessert. Um, well, it may not be new, but I want to try this. I guess you can maybe should I call it peach cobbler dump cake? Um, so I'm gonna run to H E B, go pick up a few items. Maybe this bun is crooked, but you know what? It's okay because it's hot outside. Anyway, um, I'm gonna run to H E B, go pick up the items from the store, and then we'll come back here and see about trying to put it together. And I'll let y'all know how it turns out. It's called peach cobbler dump cake. Y'all let me know down in the comments if y'all made this before. So I've decided to well, get some vanilla ice cream for my husband so he can have something yummy to eat for dessert today. I took some chicken legs out and I took some pork chops out. So I'm going to put those probably in the oven. Excuse me. Or I may put them in the air fryer for all. So we'll see how I get back, how I feel about making what I'm going to make for dinner. And... So I want to help and get back here because it's already going on almost two o'clock and your girl don't have time for, I, I don't like to be working after so many hours because when it's time to wind down, I like to wind down. So y'all like my earrings, y'all? I decided to wear my big hoops today from Timu. So yeah, I decided to wear them today. I felt a little big, you know, want some big earrings on that. I got my face shirt on. From Timu, I have I have a pair of shorts to go with this outfit, but I just decided to wear my um, blue jean shorts with the holes in them because them shorts be giving Daisy Dukes, and I'm not gonna be wearing them outside, <laughs> outside like that. So yeah, so okay, let's go to H E B. Okay, so I need let's we gotta move it this way. I need some ground nutmeg. This nutmeg, y'all. Nutmeg. 462. That's how it's gonna be. Look at the mustard seeds, y'all. That's how God said He wants you to have faith. It's as small as a mustard seed. Look at that. Okay, I'm gonna get this high nutmeg. I need nutmeg. Pumpkin spice, it's poultry. Pumpkin spice, pumpkin spice. It's sesame seeds. I got some brown prairie right there. Mm -hmm, you're fine. So, um, what is this? Brown? Oh, that's cute. Oh, I know I need some vanilla for sure. This one, how come this was $7.98? And then this one, HEBs. Look at HEBs, y'all. $9.98. Girl, why would I get them Cormac? Boy, hold up. These are, hey, hold up. These are $1.38, baby. I'm just saying. Amelia, so we made it back from the store. Just wanted to show y'all my items that I got for my dessert for this evening. I purchased some perfectly moist. Duncan Hines French Vanilla, some Imperial Butter, can't go wrong with the Bluebell Ice Cream Baby, yes, Texas made, honey, that's, yes, um, some, this is sugar-free, I didn't see that, but it's okay, sugar-free vanilla syrup, um, because the peaches and stuff is already going to be sweet, and these are really good, these are Hill Country Fair sliced peaches and heavy syrup, so that's perfect, um, this brand here is the bomb. I got some ground nutmeg, ground cinnamon, cinnamon sugar, and some vanilla extract. So these are the ingredients for my vanilla, my peach, van, peach dump cake with toppings of bluebell vanilla ice cream. Can't go wrong with this. So we're going to have that to go on top of our dump cake. So I'm going to get started on that so it can be done by the time my husband get home. I'm going to turn the camera around so you guys can, I can talk to you guys and tell y'all what I'm going to make on tonight's menu. So on tonight's menu, I plan on, so I told you I took some chicken out. So I think I'm just going to, um, I 
got me some barbecue sauce. So I'm gonna put some barbecue, I'm gonna make some barbecue chicken and pork chops in the pan, in the oven. And um, we still have cucumber salad from yesterday. So that's what we're gonna have. And I may make the green beans and potatoes. I think I might still make do that anyway, just to have a, another side um, to go with our meal. So I'll probably do that, make that, and then that's gonna be tonight's dinner. And I will make the dumb cake as I go. Y'all, this is my first time doing it. So I'm gonna <laughs> give it a try and see how it turns out. So I don't know, I just had a taste for it. I, I know my husband's been asking for peach cobbler, so I'm just gonna try this. This is my form of peach cobbler, okay? <laughs> okay, you guys, so I got my pan here. I got my two cans of peaches, and I washed off the top because you already know that these be very, very dirty. So make sure you clean them off really good because you don't want all that dirt, junk, gunk in your stuff. So as you see, it's water right here, and that's okay. Oh, I forgot to get my Pam. Hold on one so second. I got my Pam here. I'm going to spray my pan down just a little bit. Just so it won't stick. Okay? I'm going to put a lot. I'm doing this with you guys. It's my first time doing it. So, the first thing you want to do is open up your can of peaches. Okay? And you want the juice, too. So, do not, don't drain the juice. So, sorry if y'all can't see my face. Dump all that in there like so. Okay. I got two big cans, but you can get like, you know, whatever's your preference. If you don't plan on making a big one, you can always get the, you know, maybe one big can. But I got two, cause I know my husband, he loves desserts and stuff. So I wanted to do this for him. So, so that's all of my peaches that I have. Okay. So, I'm just gonna kinda like spread them like so. Okay, got them like that. So the next mm -hmm. thing I would like to do, what you should do is, um, I'm gonna put some ground nutmeg in here. I'm gonna put all my, uh, my spices into the, on top of the peaches before I actually put the cake mixture down, okay? So I'm just going to shake some nutmeg. Okay. Make sure you get it all in there. And then I'm gonna put some ground cinnamon. I'm gonna get some cinnamon sugar. Now I want a lot of this, cause I like this. Cause you know, nutmeg is very powerful. So I do want a lot of this, cause I think this is what probably will give it the color. Um, I'm only just gonna put maybe, let me get my measuring spoon. Yeah, I'm gonna use two tablespoons of vanilla. Let's just make it three. <laughs> I want to be able to taste it a little bit. Okay. So I got that. Put that there. And then I'm going to just pour just a little bit of, I thought I took this off, of the vanilla syrup in there. Remember, this one is sugar-free. I'm not gonna put a lot, so I'll probably just put like maybe uh, one table, a half a tablespoon, maybe, maybe two. Okay, so I'm gonna put the top back on this. Okay, I'm gonna kind of like mix it around so it just don't be like sitting. Make 
sure all those good flavors get down in there. I mean, you don't have to probably mix it because it's called a dump cake, but I want all of my mixings to get in on my peaches before I put the cake mix on there. As you see, it looks like it's all covered. So the next thing you're gonna do is get your butter and pour it in here. Okay, I'm gonna put your butter in there. As you got your butter now you get your cake batter and pour it in the on top of the peaches and you're gonna use all of it okay now you just want to kind of like spread it over top of the peaches like so and you want to set your oven for 350 and you want to bake this for 45 minutes i'm going to add just a little bit of butter pieces at the top so that the cake can be the you know the topping can be buttery a little buttery I'm not gonna put a lot I'm just gonna put a little bit so as you see it's spread it all over evenly okay you just want to make sure you get it in all the corners and everything That's how you want it to look like this. Any access you have just on your spoon, just shake it off. So like I said, I'm gonna just add a little bit of pieces on here on the top. And my hands are clean, you guys, cause I washed them. Just to let you guys know, just in case y'all ask. I'm just gonna spread a few little pieces here and there. Not a whole lot, cause this baby in the oven I'm gonna set my timer for 45 minutes and we're gonna see how it come out okay all right y'all keep your fingers crossed <laughs> okay you guys so this is the ending product I sprinkled just a little bit more um, ground cinnamon on top of it so y'all see that that's probably what that is so, um, but all of this right here around the side is where it was bubbling. So that's kind of like when you know that it's done. And so as you see, mine is like golden brown because I put the butter at the top. So I'm gonna let this cool off um, for a little bit. And then, cause my dinner is already done. Cause I put, I based the um, barbecue sauce on my chicken and my pork chops. And so I already fixed my husband's side. And so, like I said, he's going to have cucumber salad tonight with this. But I think I did a pretty good job. I just can't wait to see what it tastes like. Mm. Like I said, I just took it out the oven now. It's very hot. Once I plate it with the vanilla ice cream, I'll let you guys see what it looks like on the inside. But you're supposed to let it sit for a little bit. So all those good, 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 goodness can mix all together. I'm excited. Okay. 
Okay, so if y'all ever tried this before, y'all let me know down in the comments. But if you haven't, give it a go, girl. Give it a go, okay? Because we're going to get into this. We're going to get into it, honey. Um, as I let it cool off, I'm going to go sit down on the couch for a little bit, rest my brain. Cause that oven got me sweating and hot honey but my husband is home so i'm gonna go outside and see what he's doing he's outside with peppa i'm gonna go out there and let's see what she's doing let's go be nosy y'all okay let's go be nosy i got my apron on <laughs> i felt like betty crocker today okay i felt like betty Cro crocker i was like let me get my betty crocker on okay let me get my betty crocker all right y'all let's go outside So I think that the, uh, excuse, excuse all that over there. We've been sitting over there, me and my hubby. Y'all know we cover up with the blankets, okay? We at home, y'all, we at home. But um, I'm so anxious to try this peach cobbler. I'm um, peach cobbler, peach dump cake. I'm not even ready to eat dinner, so I'm gonna eat dessert first. <laughs> I'm cheating, okay? So I'm gonna try the dessert. And because I'm anxious, I want to see what I did. I'm, you know, because this is my first time doing it and it smelled really good. So if it smelled good, it means probably it's good. We're we just going to see. I know I did good because you know why? The good Lord told me to make it. So with that being said, it's the bomb. But anyway, um, yeah, let's get into this peach, cob peach dump cake. Take it back. You can eat some more. Oh, I gotta eat. I'm gonna eat too. I'm hungry too, but I just wanted to try it. I was so anxious. To see what I did. So, what you like about it? You like the ice cream with it, or you just like the flavor of it? Mm -hmm. I like it. All of it. You like all of it? Mm -hmm. Good. I taste cinnamon. You taste the, the cinnamon? Mm -hmm. I put some. I like peach cobbler. Yeah. I put cinnamon, yeah. nutmeg, and I put uh, what else I put in here? Ground cinnamon. So, yep. And some butter. All right, y'all. I'm getting ready to enjoy this, and then I'm going to eat my dinner. If y'all enjoyed this vlog, don't forget to give me a big old thumbs up. And make sure you say something in the comments so I can say something back. I love you, boo-boo. And there's nothing that you can do about it. Okay? I'll see y'all on the next vlog. And bye-bye.